The system really is just about making people think that they need new things all the time. But actually, you know, if we stop and think about the things that actually mean something to us in our lives, they're often things that we've had a long time. As a designer then, I thought actually how exciting to think about the life of the stuff that we have rather than new things. And repair isn't a compromise, it actually is something that I can be proud of. Pricing we thought was out of whack. Technology that's been around 800 years, uh, we didn't feel should cost five, six, seven hundred dollars. Uh, we thought that the shopping experience was outdated. There were few outlets that you could buy glasses online. So when we looked at it, we thought, how can we come in here and, and radically transform it? And I think that is one of the definitions of a challenger brand. What customers are looking for, they're looking for smaller brands, they want to connect to the brand, they want to uh, understand how the brand is made, they want to know the creator, uh, they are ready and prepared to spend a bit more money or premium, but they want quality. We want to keep on innovating in, in a way we don't even mind if it disrupts other industries around us, but in a way that it becomes so logical to bank with f and it's actually, you get money back the whole time. Whether it's weddings or it's children's birthdays, there's such a huge amount of waste. So it kind of got me thinking that actually if we could be much more collective and resourceful around all different gift giving occasions, we could really help each other to get the one thing we want and not the 25 things we don't. First of all, not just do we see ourselves as underdogs, but we then identify with the underdog narrative of a brand. They seem to be for us, about us. We drip feed people products, but we also drip feed them the information behind it. And I think, think that that's a way of reconnecting people with what they could be eating, drinking, wearing. We're giving people the information behind it and the stories behind it as they're consuming it. Big data forces us to think short term. And what drives success in the short term, unfortunately, it happens to be more or less the opposite of what drives success in the long term. Green isn't enough anymore. No one's going to buy your product because it's green. They're going to buy it because it's green and brilliant. Green and lasts a long time. Green and does the product better. Green and is innovative. It's green and always. By keeping things exciting and light-hearted and understanding that's what you are trying to deliver as their own product, invariably you will find that that end piece that you deliver has got that sense of fun and lightheartedness about it, so don't take yourself too seriously.